going to make an oatmeal brittle cookie. This is a type of a shortbread cookie. When I looked up in the dictionary the definition of shortbread, it said a cookie or a biscuit made with flour, sugar, and much butter. That's what shortbread is all about, much butter. In my bowl, I have two cups of quick or rolled oats, one and a quarter cups of flour, and a teaspoon of baking powder, and I've just mixed it together. Now I'm going to add one cup of much butter, which is two sticks. And I'm going to put it on the mixer and just mix it until it gets slightly crumbly. I don't want it to be a paste. And this will only take 15 seconds or so, 15, 20 seconds. All right, that's crumbly. Now to this, I'm going to add one cup of confectioner's sugar. I'm going to take this off or I'm going to spill it. A cup of confectioner's sugar, two thirds cup of brown sugar, which is unusual in a shortbread cookie. You usually just use white sugar. I'm going to use four teaspoons of water, two, four, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And this is pure vanilla extract, not the imitation stuff. You can see I was slightly generous with that, but I love the smell of vanilla. It's so good. And then, oh yes, and one cup of finely chopped peanuts. Very unusual recipe, as I said. We're going to mix this up again until it becomes a dough. It's coming together. Make sure everything on the bottom gets mixed in. If you have to stop your mixer and scrape it in, that's fine. This is coming together just fine. Okay, that's it. Now, take our dough off. And what I have here are two cookie sheets lined with aluminum foil. We're going to divide this dough in half. And put half on each sheet. Just eyeball it. Half on that sheet. Let's see if that looks like half. It's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. We're not making definite shapes on these. We're going to, now we're going to pack this into a round circle about eight inches and you want to try to keep it as round as possible because what we're going to do after these come out and when we finally cut them is we are going to cut them into triangles like a pie so we want to keep You don't want it too thick. My oven is preheating to 350 degrees. And what we're going to do is we're going to bake these in that preheated 350 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes until it gets light golden brown and set. Then we're going to remove it from the oven and on each circle, we're going to deposit approximately one good cup of chocolate bits, semi-sweet chocolate. And the heat of the pan, and the cookie will melt the chocolate and we will then just spread it out, let it set, and then we will cut it into our triangles. Okay, there's one. I'll do the second one and then I'll put them in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes and then I'll bring them out and show you what we do to finish them.
here are the cookies, hot out of the oven. And while they're still hot, I'm going to take a 12-ounce package of semi-sweet chocolate bits, pour it on top, half on each. And what this will do is the heat from the pan, the heat from the cookie itself, will begin melting the chocolate bits and then we'll spread it out all over. This will take oh, about two minutes for them to soften up. already starting to soften. About one cup if you don't, if you want to just measure them that way. Or if you want a heavier chocolate layer, go for it. Give it a minute and then we'll start spreading. Okay, they're starting to soften enough that I can start spreading. They're still not completely melted and I don't want any lumps in it, so I'll just keep working at it. And as I do it, I'll just melt some more. I'll get to this one, I'll come back to that one. Now, after this chocolate is spread on both of them, as far to the ends as you can get, you want to then put these aside till they are completely, completely cool and the chocolate is 100% set. Then you can start cutting them. And I'll show you how to do that when we get after they cool off. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. This is one of my favorite cookies. It's nice and chewy. Okay, that's for me to lick off. Now we'll just wait until these cool down and the chocolate sets and then we'll cut them up. Here is our butter brickle cookies. Um, I actually put them in the refrigerator for about 15-20 minutes so the chocolate would set up. I'm just going to peel off the foil. There's so much butter in here that foil comes off very easily. And now, um, because it's so cold, it, let's hope it doesn't crack on me. But This is what I normally do is I cut it in half first and then Cut it into wedges like that for serving. Now, can you see a cookie tray during the holidays with you know all these round cookies and everything? And then you bring up this nice long slender cookie. How nice is that? You can actually build little things out of it if you want to. And that's our butter brickle cookie.